Iran needs to stop its nuclear program. And I mean it this time. A homeless girl overcomes the odds and gets accepted by Harvard. She's still homeless, though. And family members, how well do you actually know them? The answer might surprise you. This is The State of Us. I'm Alex Whittington. And I'm Robert Stevens. Welcome to our program. And thanks to everyone who subscribed so far, including Claire Still and Nia O'Reilly Amandes. We made a little video for them, and it's pretty cool and pretty fresh. Check that out. You can get one of those, too, if you subscribe and like everything. Jumping into the news, the New York Times has reported that fathers across Europe are facing poverty and even homelessness due to strict laws concerning child support and alimony payments. After divorce, fathers are sometimes expected to live on as little as 9% of their paycheck. To help out, we here at TSOU have started Are You My Papa? A father adoption agency where wealthy hipsters can adopt a role model who will do all the things they wish that their own parents would do. Personally, I wish that my parents lived in LA so they could come see my shows. Oh, what shows? I'm doing my one man show of cats, I told you about, down by the LAX, Hotel Marriott. Huh. I'm gonna see you there? Oh, buddy, absolutely not. In actual news, a momentous event occurred in astronomy this week when Venus performed its cosmic dance between the Sun and Earth. Known as the Venus Transit, this will not be seen again on Earth until the year 2117. A truly remarkable event, Robert. Robert? Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, Alex, I heard something about astronomy and then everything went dark. You making fun of me? Yes. In disturbing news, Canadian national Luke Magnato was apprehended in Berlin, Germany for apparently dismembering and eating another human being. This is just one in a string of similar incidents where humans have been killing and eating each other. Zombies. That guy's a zombie. So remember, America, duck. Don't underestimate cannibals. Okay? Robert? Alex. It's me, Robert. Remember? You need to get out of here right now, okay? Because it's a zombie apocalypse. And we're not gonna die here, okay? I think you're overreacting, but I'm not overreacting. I've got enough meat and water, I've got a rifle, and I've got the car parked out front, okay? You need to leave with me now, all right? I'm not coming with you, man. Hey, well, it's nice knowing you. Billy Nights. That was bizarre. Turning to international news, the hunt to find the least disruptive way to break up the Eurozone continues. For more on this story, we turn to international correspondent Aaron Curtis. Aaron. Thank you, Alex. In a surprising turn of events, Lord Simon Wolfson is sponsoring an illustrious £250,000 prize to the economist who can come up with the best plan to manage a potential breakdown of the Eurozone. You're awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Uh, I think you are awesome, too. Robert! I thought you left for the zombie apocalypse. Uh, I did, but then I realized that our contracts are binding. Okay, well, I actually wasn't finished. Uh, when oh, interview I want to let you finish, the gentleman. Okay, Aaron, you're going to love this next segment. Uh, I created it. It's called Who That Is? <laughs> it's where we like to compare public figures uh, that look more like Animals, cartoons, and movie characters that do real people. That right? sounds wonderful, but For uh, example, uh, Newt Gingrich looks like the owl from The Secret of Nim. Uh, Hillary Clinton looks like a howler monkey. Actually, Harvey Weinstein looks like Danny DeVito from The Penguin. Hey, Alex, that's a, that's a stretch. I mean, I like picking on Harvey Weinstein, but that, that doesn't really work. Yeah, you're right, Robert. He looks more like you. Oh, Wilson. oh you want to play hardball, buddy? Well, you actually look like this as a kid. Yeah, well, you actually look like this as a kid. Well, it's not as bad as this. Yeah, well, this one takes the cake. Okay, you guys both looked like this. And this. Touché. And I'm, I'm good. good. Well, if don't... Just, okay, just... Thank you. Go. Well, can I call you? Oh, uh, I, I don't have a phone. I don't own my... I'll, I'll I will send you an email. I will write you a letter. Do not do that, okay? I will send you a carrier pigeon. Moving on to entertainment news. Last night was the season finale of Mad Men's sixth season, and boy was it a juicy episode. Yes, it was. And just so we don't give away any spoilers, Robert and I have developed a secret code which is pretty much unbreakable. Can you believe that Von Braber committed suicide in that episode? Bo I Budden. And Bitha Bun. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Bun breathable. I'm gonna go catch Aaron. Hey, wait, 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 hey, hey, we gotta do the outro. Oh yeah. Um, this has been the si Sucker! You son of a bitch!
This just in, there's a construction crew that won't shut up. Breaking news, Monster Truck Showdown's next door. Starring the Grave Digger. Drill, baby, drill. Except when we're filming, baby, filming. Hello, Mr. President? Oh, there are people working next door? B there are people working and they won't stop for anything. Psycho killer. Just say, stop, 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 stop drilling next door. You're a psycho killer. 